Today, we are going to solve the D-cell dilemma. If you're like me and you keep a couple of these torches on standby for emergencies, they just sit on the cupboard for a year and then when you go to use them, they don't work because the batteries inside have gone rusty and the batteries always wobble around because they're so heavy. So I just, I really hate these D-cell batteries. There's so many downsides to them. And, and the other thing is they're really expensive, aren't they? Being a Dyson repair guy, I have 100 of these. These are flat or dead Dyson batteries, but every single one I've pulled apart has at least 1100 milliamp hours of charge or capacity in each battery. So what it means is that, is that is the Dyson machines can only use about 50% of the capacity. I think these start off at about 2400 milliamp hours. You know, you get, get them apart and you get, you get piles of these cells. You get like six cells per unit. Pretty decent quality batteries and they've still got 1100 milliamp hours of charge, which is, which is huge. So I just pull them out and I just peel off, gently peel off the, the, uh, the welded on tabs and they seem to make contact okay. So today we're going to make this little unit here so it can replace one 18650 lithium cell can replace two D cell batteries uh, for, for the torches. And the good thing about these is they won't generally leak. I've got piles of, of them so they're free and you can find these in old laptops as well. Anyway, I better get on with the building. We're going to make this with a laser cutter so that we don't have to do any 3D printing which takes ages and also there's no machining to do apart from just laser cutting and a bit of copper tape. And this is 6mm MDF. If I get enough requests I will put the CAD files up uh, in the description. Final assembly to see if this works. So here we have our 18650 and we'll put it in here. Nice fit. And you can see that it all just floats in there. Two and a half millimeters of float or so. This into the flashlight and screw it together. And there we go. Probably a bit brighter than what it used to be because it's got a little bit more voltage than what it did. One thing about it, it feels really light now. When you shake it, it doesn't have a wobbly sound of batteries wobbling around inside it anymore. There is one downside, is batteries no, don't have a under voltage cutout, so you, you probably have to keep an eye on it, that if they get below 2.5 volts, you should put them on the charger. But if you're like me, and you've got lots of them, you don't really care if you trash a few, or if you put it on charge a bit earlier than it should. Anyway, that was a nice successful little project.